Good day. Someone asked me whether the Solis Hybrid will be able to run without any battery on its backup port. So currently, we don't have any power on the backup port. We're going to simulate a load using the current setup. So the current setup is I have a battery. My PV is generating going to the load which is 254 and I have an import of around 40 to 30 watts. No power on the backup. So we're going to load the backup just to make sure that everything is working properly. So I have a heater. I turn it on. So the flow is since my PV cannot support the backup load it will ask for a grid so that's why you have a 1.4 my battery will not supply since i on a self-use mode and discharging is off so let's turn it off just to make sure that we don't, okay zero 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 okay zero now it goes back to normal operation for you to be able to change the settings, first things first is we're going to turn off your hybrid first. So let's access the advanced settings. That's 0010, the default password on any Solis hybrid or inverter. Now we're going to turn it first the inverter for proper setup doing changes it is always advisable to turn off your hybrid it is for a proper setup and also it will get the uh, current settings when you change anything so it will update properly if doing so uh, sometimes it has a different effect so that's why most cases users are uh, reporting an error that you know uh, their hybrid is not working properly it is merely because during setup they did not turn it off so let's turn it off automatically off and our objective is in here is to check whether the backup output of solis hybrid can support if there's no battery and there is no PV. Enter. So, battery select. All we need to do is no battery. Setting a no battery would also reset everything on your settings. So, if you have problems or issues on the settings, all you have to do is to get the battery settings to no battery turn it on and then go back again and set it again so my, right now self use mode that's okay since we don't have any battery so that wouldn't matter okay. so going back even if you have a battery if you want to enable our backup, you have to enable the backup supply. The rest don't change anything. So we're making sure that's enabled. Okay. And now we go back and turn it on. Now, also, if you going to turn on and off your inverter without resetting it you don't have to wait for 10 minutes resync that's also the advantage of it turn it on and now we don't have any more battery see it will automatically supply power now we have but we don't have a battery and we have a load let's simulate a load again 
it will eat everything or it will get everything from the grid so as you can see the arrow going to your load see let's turn it off and it's zero so next is we're going to turn this off what will happen if we're going to turn the battery which is we don't have anymore PV if simulating the uh, no PV load uh, since we have small one so I think we can we can just turn it off but if you have a huge grid it's not advisable it's a no-no if you're using this on a uh, commercial or it's already commissioned in my case I can do that since I don't have any much load my full power is on the other side of the inverter so I have a low voltage on a PV and power on my setup again do not disconnect your PV at any systems especially if you're commissioning already in my case this is a test setup so this is just for the testing purposes only do not uh, I repeat do not test this on a commissioned or a running setup in your clients or even at your home okay we're going to remove the PV PV is off so zero we don't have battery also but we don't have PV we don't have battery so we simulated everything now what we have is our load on the grid on the backup and we have our grid can Solis handle if we're going to put a load on our backup output will this thing shut down we will find out it did not so Solis can work without battery and PV as long as your grid is supplying so all power will be getting from your grid in this sense of setup okay my load is resistive uh, uh, electric kettle so that shows how versatile the Solis hybrid on grid you can it cannot work without battery and it can work also with PV so during at night your backup system will still work but in the event of grid failure naturally your inverter will also shut down together with your grid so it's better to have a battery for stability that's up for today and thumbs up